The global climate change is unavoidable and beyond prediction. The global nature of climate change calls for the widest possible cooperation by all countries, stressed the importance of improving understanding of the impact of climate change on the agriculture and the necessity to consider the plant genetic resource dimensions to formulate an effective an appropriate adaptation and mitigation strategies to achieve food security. Indonesia recognized that plant genetic resources for food and agriculture are unique in their historical development, as well as their future key role to bestow and to sustain food security for mankind. In those view, Indonesia gathered colleagues from all over the world to share experience in addressing those issues in three days international conference on biodiversity, climate change and food security with the theme global food from diversity to security in changing world. The conference was held in Bandung, West Java from 2 to 4 July 2013 which consisted of four main agenda, namely the third high-level round table on international treaty on plant and genetic resources for food and agriculture or ITPGRFA, international seminar, side event, and excursions. In 2011, the government of Indonesia had successfully hosted Ministerial Conference on Biodiversity, Climate Change and Food Security in the auspicious of the fourth session of the governing body of the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. The Ministerial Conference adopted Bali Declaration which reaffirmed the importance of plant genetic resources for food and agriculture in addressing the dual challenges of food security and climate change. As a follow-up to Bali Declaration, Ministry of Agriculture of the Republic of Indonesia had the honor to organize the third Halab Round Table on 2nd of July 2013 in Bandung, Indonesia during the International Conference on Biodiversity, Climate Change and Food Security. The third Halab Round Table was in continuation of the second Halab Round Table on the ITPGRFA which was convened by the Brazil, Italy and Norway on the margins of the Summit on Sustainable Development in June 2012. The third Halab Round Table was chaired by Dr. Suswono, Minister of Agriculture of Indonesia. The Halab Round Table was attended by Ministers of Agriculture and representatives from 15 countries, agricultural research organizations, international organization, chair of the fifth session of the governing body, and co-chair of the treaty's ad hoc advisory technical committee on the funding strategy. The Minister of Agriculture of the Sultanate of Oman, Assistant Director General of FAO, Executive Secretary of CBD, and Director General WIPO sent video messages. Fair and equitable sharing of benefits from their use the protocol creates opportunities for developing an economy relying on sustainability 
and increased knowledge of the value of natural resources, leading to incentives for preserving genetic diversity and biodiversity in general, while providing the conditions for continuous research and development on genetic resources. The third higher level roundtable had resulted several important recommendations, particularly to support the full implementation of IETPGRFA. The treaty is crucial not only for food and agriculture, but also for food security, nutrition, and the resilience of agriculture systems, particularly in the context of the climate change. <coughs> we recall that the scope of the treaty is all plant genetic resources for food and agriculture. The time has come to fully develop and extend both its access and benefit sharing provisions in balance package around which the parties the treaty can reach an, an, an agreement.